Right now, you're looking at the ultimate Pokemon setup. But to set this up, it takes a lot. So let me show you exactly how I did this. Okay, so the first thing that you need is the Apple Vision Pro, which I bought all the way back in February. And I believe when this video comes out, it should be August. So it's been a while since I was able to use this thing, but trust me, it's the ultimate tool you need for the Pokemon experience. Is it unnecessarily expensive? Absolutely. It, do you have to do this? No, but it's just fun and for science and for me to show you. Now, typically you'd be playing your Nintendo Switch on a television screen. However, for this, we're gonna need to put the Nintendo Switch screen onto the Apple Vision Pro so it looks like this. So what you're going to need is any capture card. I'm specifically using the Game Capture Neo, which is Elgato's cheapest one, actually, that they just released. And Elgato sent me this, so I figured I'd use it in this video too. I'll be linking everything down in the description below. And you're also going to need uh, HDMI, of course. And what you're going to simply do is plug in the HDMI to the back of this on the end. And on the Nintendo Switch, here's a, a dock, for example. You can take this out. And we're going to put the other side and connect it to the back of the Nintendo Switch at the HDMI port. What this is gonna do is send the signal from the Nintendo Switch towards the capture card, and then we're gonna take the capture card, plug it in with the USB-C, and then I'm gonna plug it into the MacBook that I have, which is gonna be used for this video. And by plugging it into the MacBook, that is then going to allow me to stream on OBS on my Mac. Now what we wanna do on my Apple Vision Pro is see that connect button, we're gonna hit connect. That's gonna open this into a much bigger screen and my game crashed. So let me just do this again. <laughs> Then I'm going to, bam! Okay, so now that we have our screen, what we wanna do is we can move it anywhere. All I have to do is just like, press my fingers like this and bring it anywhere I want in the room. And the cool part is if I look to the corner, you can see that corner enhance, and I just drag that and I can make this big. Now, since we don't have a running TV, we can just actually block the Mac and everything right there. We'll keep it something like that. So there we go, we now have the game. It's fully working and everything. There's a Raichu in front of me. I'm gonna use a quick ball. Did we get it? We got it. All right, we caught our first Pokemon in the app. Apple Vision Pro. So this totally works and that's how we get the screen going on. And by the way, the Raichus that are on my screen are from another video where it's a special event Raichu. So let me know if you guys actually watched my previous video and caught that. The event's over. These are the last three Raichus left in my game. Now the next thing that we're going to need is to have Pokemon Go show up on the Apple Vision Pro. Now the reason why Pokemon Go is even important, like why would you play Pokemon Go with a Scarlet and Violet setup, right? Well, the reason specifically for that is because in Pokemon go when you catch a pokemon you can actually transfer it to pokemon home you can then send to scarlet and violet or the specific nintendo switch game that it's supposed to go to from pokemon home okay so as you can see the phone in my hand is very blurry and it's very hard to see and it also doesn't work on my face because i'm literally wearing an apple vision pro the thing that i want to do right now is get my phone to show up on the screen so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna use my press my button on my head and we're gonna open this app right here called bezel just like that. And it's gonna open up and say waiting for a connection on the iPhone. And then I'm gonna click the app on my iPhone, just like that. And it's gonna say select a device. I'm gonna hit the Apple Vision Pro. Boom, <laughs> we now have a giant iPhone on hands. It's literally mimicking my iPhone. Because now we have the iPhone working, it's all good, we're capturing. We can now hit Pokemon Go, just like that. Look at that, we have Pokemon. I caught one Pokemon on my adventure. I didn't even know I was doing that. Now, I'm not trying to pay attention to Pokemon Go and try to actively catch Pokemon. So to make it an auto catcher until I'm ready to transfer things to Pokemon Home later, I'm gonna be using the Pokemon Go Plus Plus. And what this lovely device does is auto catch Pokemon for me using my Pokeballs that I have in Pokemon Go. So it's gonna catch it, flash different colors, and do all the work for me so I don't have to do anything. All I'm gonna do is see what came up in my recent and then transfer it over to Pokemon Home. How cool is this, right? It's like this giant phone in front of me. And the cool part is, when no matter where I move in the room, I can move all the way down here and the TV screens are staying. They're not moving. I could take this little iPhone with me and walk around and maybe slap it on the wall. Maybe I wanna block that window. And now we got our iPhone positioned here. We have our game positioned here and that's good for Pokemon Go. Great. Now you might be wondering, how can you have Pokemon go up at the same time as you have Pokemon Scarlet and Violet streaming from your Mac? But where is Pokemon Home? This is kind of mind blowing to me, but there are some Pokemon apps that actually work on the Apple Vision Pro. And believe it or not, the Pokemon company just snuck in Pokemon Home on the Apple Vision Pro. So you can see that I can expand the screen completely. I could check out the events. I could go through all the Pokemon. 
one. I could touch this thing. Look at that. I could touch it. How crazy is this? This is a Pokedex entry for Galarian uh, Weezing. It says the game it's from Pokemon Sword. It shows the typings, it's attack. Like this is crazy. That was my OT in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So it's like, what? And it also tells you all the games it could travel to. So I could send it over to Scarlet and Violet. Check this out. We get stats on the most popular Pokemon being traded on home. It clearly looks like people like Raging Bolt, uh, Furfro, which is very exclusive to Pokemon Go. And you can only trade those to Pokemon Home by catching them in Pokemon Go around the world. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just very cool stuff. Anyway, it looks like I also have mystery gifts that I have never touched. So look at that gift box, bam. It's like, dude, this is so insane. Like I'm doing this with my hands and it's just like happening i have special uh gifts here what's this look at that i have a, a, a chimchar I, I that i never claimed that's kind of crazy i also have a, a sprigatito wow and the cool part is you know of course this is pokemon home so we can go to my room or my pokemon in general and these are all the pokemon i caught and you can arrange it however you want i can catch them from pokemon go and send them over here or send them from my switch if i sit down and relax now i can just i get my pokemon home right here go through anything i need to see i can even trade via Pokemon Home. I can, you know, play in Scarlet and Violet, which is pretty cool. Check out what's going on. Oh, this one's a Mark Slowpoke. And I'm auto catching Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Now we have our Pokemon video games on the Apple Vision Pro. We got Pokemon Go capturing Pokemon on the side, and we now have Pokemon Home. What else can we add on to this? What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up, press the button on top over here, and we're gonna hit Safari because we need an internet browser to make this more immersive. So this is a really interesting thing. This is a uh, map. Genie, it's a website. It seems to have everything that's in the game for Scarlet and Violet. And I just thought this would be funny to show. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this full screen. So this is the entire Indigo Disc DLC and all the items everywhere. And instead of me uh, opening up my map all the time and seeing where I have to go, I can look right over here. Really cool. So if I say, oh, there's a Max Potion here. That's pretty cool. Or Meloetta somewhere here. There's Meloetta. Meloetta is located in the coastal biome right at that location. So that's pretty cool, right? Like if you, if you find it, you can check it off. So it's just cool. I know the game already came out and it's done pretty much but it's just nice to have this stuff and you could zoom in on the map look around and be like oh where do i want to go what do i want to do let's open up something else maybe you want to open up a, a, a popular pokemon website we all like to use right and let's say i want to go to cerebi.com how cool is this right look at my my keyboard right here so let's go to cerebi and type in pokedex scarlet and violet here's the cerebi thing so i could have this in front of me so if we're looking for fairy type pokemon let's see gardevoir do i want to put gardevoir on my team i could see it's resistance distances, its weaknesses. I can even do VGC battling up in this and have all my cheat sheets everywhere in the room so I know what's going on when I fight a different opponent online. So this is going to work really well for Pokemon battling for everything pretty much. Now you can also go to YouTube. This is a great channel by the way which you should totally subscribe to this one. Seriously, it's at 534k and, and that needs to go all the way up there to 800. It's not updated but it's going to happen. Anyway, you can watch videos in the background while you are gaming. So check this out. So we got our whole entire video happening at the top. Our Cerebi here with information. Pokemon Go on this screen. We got an entire map over here on this screen. So we can put that right over there. We have our Pokemon uh, home on this screen. And now the greatest part ever, we can immerse ourselves completely and make everything in this room disappear. Check this out. Bam, we are now at the lake. <laughs> We are literally at the lake. You cannot see anything here. This is perfect. This is the ultimate Pokemon experience. It seriously is. I wanted to take the immersion even further by trading a Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet with my friend Glitch X City. Here's what happened. Shiny for shiny? Oh, wait a second. I got, I got something for you. It's the keys to our friendship. I'm handing it to you. So if you lose it, we're going to be in trouble. <laughs> I gave Glitch a shiny cleft key and Glitch gave me a shiny knackly. Mud shot, smackdown, rock polish. You got sturdy on this one? Okay. Oh, you gave me a sassy, salty rock is what you just did. <laughs> Yeah, you could take it into Legends uh, ZA with you. Something special for you since you're my first trade in this thing. First trade successful. Wait, can you see Can you see my, my thumbs up? Yeah. Oh, nice. All right, thanks for the trade glitch. Now, is all this necessary to really enjoy Pokemon and the ultimate experience? No, you can simply probably do this by just being on a capture card computer and your iPhone. I just wanted to go over the top and just see what we can do and create the ultimate Pokemon experience with this thing. And I finally used this, so now I can do a tax write-off that I made a YouTube video about it.